for Check It Upson. Check it out. Now, this is going to sound very tough for y'all to understand, all right? But to the victor goes the spoils, okay? Which means the motherfucker who wins pretty much has claims to everything that he accomplished, all right? Now, the motherfucker who lost, nigga, you lost, lick your wounds, keep it moving, okay? Beat it, right? Now, that's pretty much my attitude when it comes to Drake and Meek, okay? Public perception and pretty much if you look at just how the, the songs played out, the majority of people say Drake won this back and forth confrontation with Meek. Now, because of that, it's the reason why it kind of empowers Drake to constantly revisit that moment. He's always taking shot at the person he defeated. And some people say, why do we give flack to Meek Mill when he brings up or he tries to diss Drake? You know why? Because the motherfucker lost. Had he won, mention you beating him as much as you want. Okay? But here's the thing. When Meek mentions the beef, he mentions it like he never lost. When Drake mentions the beef, he clearly mentions it like, I beat that motherfucker. Okay? Which is kind of historically, factually correct. However, here's the thing. Because if you guys don't know, Drake dropped his uh, uh, playlist yesterday. It's called More Life. By the way, salute to 10,000 people who came out, watched me on stream while we all listened to it together for the first time. By the way, twitch.tv slash academics. Make sure you guys go follow. However, you know he was going to have a shot at a bunch of motherfucking people, okay? Now, I will acknowledge this, right? As Even though I said to the victor goes to spoil, there is something about Drake constantly mentioning Meek, okay? Given the fact that he's so much more successful, he's continuing with his career. And by the way, right, think about this. Meek Mill has not put out his second album after he's gotten the beef with Drake, which is almost two years old. Dreams Worth More Than Money came out. Then he's dropping a bunch of little projects to try to get back momentum. 404 Part 1, 404 Part 2, DC4. Now it's about to be DC4 and a baby. What the fuck is DC4 and a baby? Drop your next album. Let's see what's up with these numbers, though, okay? However, Drake has dropped like three projects since then, like two albums. So basically, Drake is progressing his career regardless Drake continually brings up and disses Meek Mill. Now, there's a couple of reasons why he could be doing that. Is he running out of fucking content? Like, he don't know what to rap about him. He's, he's already rapping about how he's number one, like, a lot of times. Like, the majority of Drake raps nowadays, he's telling us how he's number one and how it feels. Okay, we get it. But goddamn nigga, right? The second thing is, maybe he's really salty about Meek Mill exposing, right? While Meek Mill lost the motherfucking beef, Meek Mill did accomplish one thing. And that's why I always said Meek Mill died on the cross for basically hip-hop history you know why he disqualified drake from ever being in the category of top mcs or top rappers because now his writing is in question okay so while he lost the beef he definitely tarnished drake's credibility and legacy okay maybe because of that drake is so salty he'll always diss that nigga not to mention the fact drake was cool with him allegedly and if you flip on a nigga nigga's gonna be hurt as well and of course drake did stuff for him but regardless drake continually brings his beef up Okay, now, let's continue, because on the Project More Life, there's a song where Drake is clearly talking about Meek Mill. Actually, multiple songs, but I'll actually use this reference to, to point out this Drake constantly jabbing at Meek Mill, even though we've said he won the beef over a year ago, all right? This is what he says. And by the way, this is on a song called Lose You. He says, jealous ones still envy and niggas turn King Cobra. I could only speak what I know of. Man, we wrote the book on calculated thinking and icy Heineken drinking and rival neighborhood Lincoln and putting your trust in someone with the risk of financially sinking. All you did was write the book on garbage ass rollies, ego stroking, picture posting, claiming that you do it for motivational purposes only, but you had to show me. See, I know because I study you closely. I know when someone lying. I know there's people standing for nothing and getting tired. I know what we're both thinking, even when you're quiet. Sometimes I just got to make sure I didn't lose you, okay? Dope bars, all right? But you see an obvious reference that Drake is telling Meek, nigga, I'm watching you. I'm studying you. Now, this is a little bit unusual for somebody who just won, okay? You defeated someone somebody right you're moving on your career and you still watching the nigga you beat okay maybe there's either some deep animosity where you really want to make sure that nigga's career is all the way done so you're watching him to make sure he's not succeeding 
or again, the saltiness is coming back up and you'll never forget it even if you beat them. You basically want to beat them time and time and time and time again. Hopefully, it'll make you feel good at the end of the day. Regardless of the issue, he's taking shots at Meek. Now, will Meek respond? Should he respond? I think Meek should stay clear of beef. He should go vegan. However, he should probably take a couple shots back. Subliminal, subtle, okay? We don't need no, like, yo, Drake, when I see you, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to take your chain and over you. No, no, come on. Like, make it subtle. Make it subliminal, right? And the reason why I'm saying that, even though I don't like that type of stuff most times, is that we don't need either artist focusing their careers or what they're doing on the other. I don't want to hear a full-blown diss track from Meek to Drake. I don't want to hear a full-blown diss track from Drake to Meek. So I guess the little bars, like, in, in a couple of songs jabbing each other, I guess it's okay. Right. But I don't want to continually hear these motherfucking songs where they're like crying over each other or they're mad at each other. The time has come and passed, but I understand there's something mutual about them mentioning each other. OK, however, I will say again to the victor goes the spoils. All right. If a nigga just beat you, he can talk all day about how he beat you. Right. But if you lost. Listen, if you talk about you losing, you got to really talk about it, how it went down, all right? Nobody want to hear you trying to reframe or do some revisionist history shit. No, we want to hear you talk about how you lost, okay? If you're going to keep talking about that motherfucking incident. That's why I always say that to the victor goes to spoils. Sorry to say. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like. Do you agree? Disagree? Also, make sure you follow my stream, twitch.tv slash academics. Also on Instagram at aka D-M-I-K-S on Twitter. You know it, at I'm academics. Let me know what you think, all right? I'm up.